So here you may see what a liquid metal does to your processor in one year. Um, there are no visible dents or holes, but if you touch it with your finger, you definitely feel some roughness there, so that's unpleasant. The letters are all gone, you cannot read anything. You don't even know what processor this is. You can barely see the horizon there, but that's it. So I unscrewed the cooler, and when I have been taking it out, it <laughs> it torn the processor out of the socket. So I don't know if I did any damage there, but there is a reason for that. Like there is liquid metal here. And this thing seemed to glue my CPU case like completely welded into the cooler. And I gently took it away, but I didn't go. So I forced it a little bit and then I had torn the processor out. And then I had to use pliers and extensive force, very extensive force to remove this. And this seems to have some reaction with the heat sink. I can even see the Ryzen letters here somewhere. It is there. Yeah, you see Ryzen? So it reacted with the nickel plating of Noctua cooler. And it almost welded, like I used pliers and extensive force. Luckily, this has been successful. I did bend a couple of pins, which is terrible, but yeah, I think I'll straighten them, should be fine. Because it was glued that hard, the temperatures were actually fine. Temperatures were awesome, but I tried to remove it and you see what happens. You can easily lose a CPU or a socket. So yeah, something to consider. What do you think, guys? Tell me in the comments. And now also I need to use wipes, alcohol, and even the sandstone or sandpaper, very fine grain, because the alloy, the metal got inside of this metal, got binded together and uh, yeah, got rough around the edges and everywhere and processor as well. So, yep, a nasty side effect.